Hey guys, so my last video, which was like my little, seriously small little haul that I did was um, from Target and Ulta. I had picked up the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, which is right here. And I did play with it a little bit this weekend. I was super busy. Um, I tend to say that in a lot of my videos, how busy I am. And unfortunately, it's kind of a reality. Um, we actually got a new car this weekend, which is super exciting because I've been pestering my husband for like over a year about getting a new car. Um, we got the Ford Explorer. We did have an Edge and now we have the Explorer. We uh, basically upgraded to the seven seater because the kids are getting bigger. And um, in case you didn't know, I have a 13 year old or we have a 13 year old son and his friends are just as big as him and he's already five foot five and I swear he got to that height like overnight and um he and his friends like to go places and like after school which is summer in like two weeks but it's like hey can we go to the skate park I don't have room for two friends I have room for one you can't just leave out one of his friends it's just not fair so and between my and baseball and her friends and soccer and hit you know it's just it's a lot so I didn't want to drive a minivan not that there's anything wrong with Moms and dads that drive minivans, it's just it's not what I like. So, I'm really happy with it. And you can see it out there, I think. Maybe. Me, I don't know. We can look at it later. Oh. But my edge was hitting 100K and it was just, it was time. So, back on focus. Um, so... Back on the eyebrows, I actually don't think it's reasonable for me with the type of makeup, like the time and everything, to spend like over $10 on an eyebrow product. Just don't find it reasonable. Um, I have been using, and I actually, now that I'm like holding it, I'm like, this is actually kind of late. It's almost out. So I guess it was good that I picked up the NYX. This one is the Maybelline Brow Drama, and I picked this up by like random when I was at Walgreens. And if you look at this brush, it's skinny and then it has like a little pom-pom thing at the end and I've noticed with this it does a great job my eyebrows stay in like how I leave them all day it works great all day like washes off easily when I need it to wash off the color is perfect it um the one thing I noticed is like one color and what oh actually I'm kidding Ugh, headache sorry um soft brown so maybe they did have a lighter one I'm not sure See if I can get the color to go on my hand here. Get a little swatch. When I picked it up, I only saw the one. It's the one I went with. And it matched perfectly. So I'll just... I usually would just go up and kind of do this. My neighbor's like, what is she doing in her window? But you can see it fills in. But the only thing I can say negative about this is because the bristle, the bristle is so thick at the end that I would always have to like, if you look at top right there, it gets on your skin there. So then we have the NYX, which you can see. And this one is in soft, no, nope, soft nothing. It's just chocolate, which you can see the brush. In the color which is very similar this is the Maybelline and this is that and this really isn't supposed to be a comparison actually let me let me dip that you can definitely get more product on that other one but I just kind of brush up And I, it's definitely time for me to get my eyebrows reshaped because they're not really arched anymore. It's for me not going and taking care of it and me just picking at the one, the strays. And I am going to say it is kind of hard not doing this in like a regular mirror. You can totally tell it. I got product way up here too. I just poked myself in the eyeball. I 
Right, I'm going to pause this real fast and go look in the big mirror. Give me one. Okay, so I did actually go in front of my bathroom mirror, and it's unfortunate that I don't have like a little, like a, a mirror about this size to sit here and do it. I'm just doing it with my camera here. I did have to re-lubricate with more product because it did dry out while I was fix, trying to fix it. But if you look, you can see that it actually did a great job, and it is a good thing that it does dry. Unfortunately, I needed to work with it more because I really couldn't see what I was doing. I did go back with this product and re-apply um, through my eyebrow on this side because I did need to really kind of like fix it because this was kind of everywhere. And I did clean up what I missed because I couldn't really see. I did notice this brush is much better than that, but this wasn't, my intention was not to go like, oh, this product versus this product. That wasn't my initial thought. My first impression of this doing, you know, with this product is I like the brush much better. I think it's a great tool. I think this is a, like, basically almost like it probably would be a dupe for the, um, Gimme Brow by Benefit, I think that's the name of it. Um, definitely the price point is much better versus what I think $22 or something. And this was $6.99. And right now, if you buy NYX products at Ulta, it's buy one, get one half off. So, and I didn't even notice that until I looked at the catalog that I got in the mail after I purchased this. So it made sense that um, these were basically sold out. I mean, there was like two to choose from. But I like this product. The color match is great. I mean, I have dark hair, dark eyebrows, um, and I have chocolate, which is basically the soft brown. If you have this, it matches. I mean, you can tell by the swatches on my hand. Same color. I think it's a great product for $6.99. If you find it on sale, it's even cheaper. And I think you should give it a shot. I mean, after all, if you don't like the product, you can return it to Ulta. They have a great return policy. Target, great return policy on makeup. It's a benefit of that. So... Hey, what do you have to lose other than a couple minutes of your time? So have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye.